When we published the Midas list, there were only two women on the list. Yes. And you ranked, um, you were the highest ranked female on the list. And this is something that got more pickup maybe than, than the list itself, which was why are there only two women on this list? Why are there so few women in venture? And tangentially, why are there so few female entrepreneurs getting backed by big venture firms? So, you know, I looked at the ratio and the ratio is really interesting. It's something like one out of nine partners at a VC firm are female. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the ratio of female entrepreneurs getting backed and it's the exact same ratio. Um, what do you think about that? What do you think about the fact that there are so few women in venture? I know you have some interesting thoughts on how we can get more women into venture and some of the trends that are happening right now. First of all, I was disappointed that there are only two women this year. Um, there were four before, so double, but still not enough. Um, I think there are several things that women can do to um, really to become successful venture capitalists. and. First of all, um, just go into the field. Um, it's a very exciting field, it's a growth field, and I think more women should go into it and have the characteristics that can lead to success in venture investing. Um, we're definitely seeking, seeing more women become successful entrepreneurs, which I think is one important component of that. So as more women uh, become comfortable being entrepreneurs, taking entrepreneurial risks, we'll see more women come into the field. There's also been a lot more publicity about venture as a career. So I think that will help to attract more women. So number one, women have to go into the field. Number two, I think that experience is a factor. You need to get experience that will enable you to number one, make successful investments, and number two, wield experience in, actually wield influence in the boardroom, which is very important to creating value at a company. And I think women can do that in a couple of ways. Number one, get relevant experience, and that can happen by going into technology or going into finance. Finance enables you to um, do effective analysis of markets, of companies, et cetera, which is very important to venture investing. Um, another way that women can get relevant experience is um, e-commerce is huge nowadays. Women are very good at, I think, understanding buying, partner, buying patterns of consumers. So you see several women being successful in the e-commerce area. Women founded and ran Gilt, um, Birchbox, several really very successful entries. So I think the whole experience um, element is very important. The third thing I think women can do is to utilize um, a lot of things that women naturally are good at. Relationship building, networking, Venture is, um, is, is a lot about that, and I think women are very good about that. Um, and we often joke that um, a woman on the board often is the one that gets to fire a CEO because she can do it effectively, but maybe in a more gentle fashion. So I think there are a lot of personal uh, characteristics that women can use to leverage their influence in the boardroom. But one thing that women really need to do and to get better at, in my view, is to become more comfortable with risk, to become more comfortable um, in speaking out. So I think those are important things as well. And I know you said something really interesting, which is women are often more prepared but less vocal. That's right. Um, Harvard Business School did a very interesting study, and I recently endowed a chair there. Um, not a chair, but a fellowship for women entrepreneurs with the specific goal of encouraging women to go to Harvard Business School and become an entrepreneur. And in setting this up, um, I worked with a professor there who is doing research on um, successful women at Harvard Business School and what they can do to become more successful at Harvard Business School. And she came up with a very interesting fact that women prepare more but speak less in class. And I think what we need to do is speak more and make sure that we use the benefit of all our hard work to be vocal and to give, um, as a venture capitalist, the companies that we work with the benefit of that experience.